Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, we will be adding the moon to a landscape photo. Of course, this is some heavy image manipulation, but this method might help you save some otherwise boring landscape image. First off, we need some images from the moon. You can find those images under the link in the description of the video. You can freely use them as they are from Unsplash. I'm going with a full moon for this image and I'm going to use the white version of it. So let's just drop it over our landscape photo, just like this. Now the first thing we want to fix is obviously the black background, which is super distracting. That's actually just a click away. We only need to change the blending mode of this moon layer. Right here, we are going to say screen. So the black background is gone while the moon is still nicely visible. And now keep in mind, if the pixel behind the moon is brighter, it will shine through it like you can see here at the mountain peak. That is not a big deal, but first let's scale down the moon image by hitting Ctrl T. And to keep the proportions, I'm going to hold down the shift key and just scale it down. I do want to make it look more natural. That's why I'm going to scale it down quite a bit. And then we need to place it somewhere where it makes sense. So this looks like a pretty good composition. We can always further scale it down later. For now, let's work on making this moon look a bit more realistic. If you're looking closely, you can still see some kind of leftover from the black background around the moon. We can actually fix that by adding a levels adjustment layer right here. And we do want to clip it just to the moon layer. Therefore, we are holding down the Alt key and click between those two layers. So the levels only really affect the moon. Now to remove the leftovers from the background, I'm going to pick the black point of the levels adjustment layer and just drag it to the right. This way we are making the background even darker so there are no pixels shining through. And then we can also do the opposite, making the moon itself a little brighter by bringing down the point for the highlights and just give it a little overexposed look this way, just to make it feel a little more natural. All right, perfect. You can see that's quite a big difference after the levels adjustment layer. Color seems to be a little off as well. We do have some very warm highlights in this image, but the moon is pretty white. So I do want to add another adjustment layer. This time I'm going with the curves adjustment layer. Again, I'm clipping it to the layer below by just holding down the Alt key and click in here. So again, the curves adjustment layer will only affect the moon. In the RGB dropdown menu, I'm going to choose the red channel as I want to introduce some more red tones to the moon. And here I'm picking the point for the highlights again and I'm just dragging it to the left. You can see how the color is slightly changing. So we don't want a pure white moon just want to have some subtle red color cast in here. This is looking pretty good. And then of course, usually the moon is glowing a bit. So we want to add a little glow as well. Therefore, I am creating a new layer and I'm dragging it below our moon layer. And that's pretty important. And I also want to set the blending mode of this layer to soft light. Then I'm grabbing the brush by pressing B and I'm adjusting the brush size relative to the moon, just like that. And of course, I'm also using a very, very soft brush. Then we need to change the foreground color to white. Actually, let's add a little bit of red tint in here. Just a little bit, all right. And we also need to bring down the brush opacity. Let's say 15% should be fine. Then center the brush over the moon and then just brush in a few times. Let's compare without the glow. You can see it's looking much more realistic this way. We can work with differently sized brushes. So let me just try and add a very big brush around it. To further increase this effect, we can add a new layer above all the other layers and again use the soft light blending mode. Now I'm just again carefully brushing in some more glow and some even more glow on the top side of it. 
All right, that looks pretty cool. Now, if we want to try different positions, that's easily done. We just need to group it up. So I'm selecting all the layers I have created and then I'm just hitting the folder icon down here. And this folder now can freely be moved around as you can see, and we can choose a nice spot for the moon. I do think I want to keep it on the left side. However, I think I need to scale it down further just to not make it look too unrealistic. But I think that's a pretty good spot right here. And that's how you add the moon to your landscape photos. I hope this Photoshop tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.